housekeeping announcements. It is imperative that you are sat in the seat that was assigned to you on your graduate ticket. Sitting in a different seat will disrupt the proceedings. When you are asked to leave your seat, please ensure you bring the green placement card with you. Before you are directed onto the stage, you will be asked to queue at the bottom of the stage. Please ensure that you have your placement card with you as you approach the stage so that your name can be checked against the reading list and then follow the instructions of staff at all times. If you do not wish to shake hands as you cross the stage, please carry a copy of the graduation programme that is on your chair with you as you process. Please keep photography to a minimum during the ceremony. You are reminded that selfies and any such behaviour when you are processing across the stage is not appropriate. Above all though, please do enjoy your graduation ceremony and please be upstanding for the academic procession. It's my honour and my pleasure as Union President to, in, uh, to welcome all of you here, President, family, honoured guests and the graduates to Commemoration Day 2019. You know, it's a, it's a cliche but it does feel like only yesterday we all started here and I guess that goes to show that time really does fly when you're under pressure. Um, we're here today to recognise the outstanding academic achievement of all of you guys sitting in front of me. 
But we're also here to recognize achievement outside the classroom, in sport, in art, in music, the diversity of culture that we have at Imperial, the diversity of ideas that we enjoy at Imperial, our commitment to volunteering and the time we spend engaging in, in those activities, and our continued commitment to excellence and making the world a better place. Now, as graduates from this university, we have an immense potential to contribute to wider society. And I think that comes with a burden of expectation, equal parts inspiration and apprehension as we enter the wider world. But today, is, it's important to reflect on those who came before us, the shoulders of giants on, on which we stand. This place began as you know, part of the Albertopolis after the great exhibition funds were used to create a, a multifaceted community of science and art in this area, which you guys can all enjoy today, particularly the parents. Um, we're also here to recall a visit that then King George and Queen Elizabeth took in 1945 on the 100th anniversary of the Royal College of Science, which was a forerunner to this institution. And uh, he, he said something there which I think is important to keep in mind. Regard your knowledge and your skill in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. With this in mind, I'd like us to move forward. You know, while today we stand on the shoulders of giants, in the future, our shoulders will be those on, on which others stand. We want to make change in the world, pursue new ideas, new knowledge, but always for the benefit of mankind as a whole. Congratulations, and the very best of luck. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, it is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2019. Graduates, congratulations. We are here to celebrate your accomplishments. We applaud your many talents and we wish you well in all that awaits you. You have worked hard at your studies, and you have excelled. You have also excelled outside the lecture halls and laboratories. You were scholars as well as practitioners. You were talented inventors, entrepreneurs, musicians, dancers, actors, singers, and athletes. And you were volunteers who gave your precious time to help others. It is important to recognize those whose support was essential during your time at Imperial. Your families and friends are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs and they bring special joy to today's celebration. Let's give them our thanks. <laughs> the academics sitting behind me and many others have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity, and broadened your horizons. They are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They have challenged and inspired you. They have showed you the importance of having high standards for everything you do. That's Graduates, you are accomplished scholars, scientists, innovators. The world needs people with your intelligence, your passion, and your commitment to learning. You will contribute greatly to society. I hope that among the many things you will remember about Imperial, you will look back on the valuable experiences you had working with, listening to, learning from, and spending time with others. Whether it was students in your course, or friends from societies or residences, or staff who you got to know, sharing ideas and building lasting relationships will be valuable, lifelong assets. I hope that you leave Imperial with a distinct sense of the value of community. Imperial College London is an important community and it will always be part of who you are. I like something I recently heard in France about cafe culture and encyclopedias. 
For both, you enter with a purpose and then you lose yourself to other things. We have all enjoyed the opportunity to lose ourselves in unexpected conversations. We lose track of time and we learn and understand a great deal. We may also have stumbled upon a new book while browsing in a library or a bookshop. Some of us are old enough to remember hefting encyclopedias to a table to search for something, only to find other entries that enthralled us. Now, perhaps too often, the cafe is just a place to get a takeaway coffee or sit with your laptop and work alone and the encyclopedia is supplanted by the internet search. You can still lose yourself in a trail of discovery. However, you may not have the same experience of chance findings. Serendipity has, perhaps, become too algorithmic. Too often today, when we do sit together over a meal or coffee, we are distracted by our phones. On the one hand, they provide instantaneous access to so much information. It is incredible that in a moment's notice, you can know the answer to the question, who led the uprising against the occupying Romans in 60 AD, Boudicca? Or how long will it take the JUICE mission to reach Jupiter, seven and a half years? Our conversations are enriched by such information. We can know a lot. On the other hand, phones sometimes divert our attention from the people around us. To move from information to understanding, we need to look up from our phones and get to know each other. We need to recapture our sense of community. There is much that divides the world today. We need people like you to take the time to listen to and better understand one another if we are to mend these divides. I hope that as you leave this wonderful university with friends, mentors, and learning around every corner, you will take your experience and your wisdom into many new relationships and new communities. In doing so, you will help make the world a better place. Thank you. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Their names will be announced by Professor Oscar Sayers, the head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Anne Dell, the head of the Department of Life Sciences, Professor David Van Dyke, head of the Department of Mathematics, and Professor Michelle Doherty, head of the Department of Physics. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, please may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of each department. Faculty of Natural Sciences, Associates of the Royal College of Science and First Degrees of the University, Bachelors of Science, Department of Chemistry. Anthony Barry. Hood <laughs> Safiq Herman. William Bumars. Max Bridge. Michael Calamares. Marine Chaplain. Harry Chohan. Palita Chentacle. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, BSc, Aaron Roll Dolan.
Yasmin Ferro. Peter Gobbit. Georgia May Green. Catherine Green. Sijuan Wang. Anissa Hakim. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for a final year physical research project, Martin Halitsky. <laughs> Jaying Rayner Huang. Sneha Jane. Nuntapob Jejumet Miti. Nibalan Kaila Yapulai. Jessica Lau. Crystal Law. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for outstanding overall performance, Alvin Lee Weiji. <laughs> Jacob Lerman. Lulu. Ahmed Masood. Eleonora Moody. Yunjin Moon. Suleiman Mugal. Veronica Nachi. Award of the Governor's Prize, Christine Shi Ching U. <laughs> Declan Joseph Nolan. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overperformance BSc, Vishali Pala. <laughs> Lee Hoon Pan. Jake Peters. Yikai Kian. Anmol Sedwani Kirpalani. Esther Schindler. Michelle Simon. Christian Sophocleus. Justin Soyano. Sandeep Sudago, Jason Carsing Tam, Cindy Tan, Ella Viale Sol, Sia Vich, Shang Wang. Emily May Wijaja. Megan Wills. Karina Robel. Zhang Lei Yan. Wo Yun Zhang. Masters of Science, Department of Chemistry, Hisham Abdel Ati. <laughs> James Albert. Matthew Edward Allen. Joselito Bondon. 
Harry Burnis. Ahmed Carter. Chawin Chadisadapong. Oihei Chloe Chow. Sijin Chen. Rini Chung. Demetrius Constantinou. Hannah Kudlow. Joshua Davies. <laughs> Felix de Corsi Island. Ana Maria Dobre. Gregor Eckhart. Elizabeth Ellison. Alex Ford. Awarded the Alpha Beta Prize in Organic Chemistry, Sophie Griggs. Honor <laughs> Guzel. James Hale. Sam Hazelgrove. Philip Hawkins. Awarded the John McCobie Memorial Prize, Lawrence Hoffman. <laughs> Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Jake Hummel. <laughs> the Evans Medal, Rebecca Jones. <laughs> Samuel Jones. Koichi Kanaboshi. Thomas Koshetsky. Lokching Sally Lee. Wo Yun Lo. Enhui Ma. Sam Mesa. Colleen Maxwell. Lara Metcalf. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Billy McCoo. Magdalena Monica Novinska. Louisa O'Hare. Shinji Pan. Jenny Park. Rhea Patel. Sophia Patel. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Francesca Pinto. Darius Raju. Antonio Reeves. JJ Wren. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Final Year Organic Research Project, Juliet Ray. Enrique Rodriguez. Awarded the, the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Alan Salmon. <laughs> Adiratna Sunario. Ramin Nissen Soland. Radhika Sunandaram. Sinyi Tam. Huiye Ton. Awarded the Francis Micklethwaite Prize, Benjamin Tappelsai. <laughs> Emilia Taylor Young. 
awarded the H.J. Briscoe Prize, Jin Hui Tei. <laughs> Fabian Thomas. <laughs> Felix Thompson. <laughs> Victoria Thompson. <laughs> Mengyuan Wang. Zinan Wang. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for final year physical research project, Thomas Webb. <laughs> Edward Will. Jack Williams. Benjamin Wilner, Kaiguan Wong, Zhuang Zhuang Yan, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, MSI, Johnny Yun. <laughs> Dohei Yuan. Alexei Zaboronsky. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemistry. Please join me in a round of applause to these graduates. Bachelors of Science, Department of Life Sciences, Sebastian Abbott, Ishmael Abdullahi, Afsan Ahmed, Sunia Ahmed, Marina Akasaka, Sharika Akbar, Amina Ali, Daniel Anderson. Momoko Ando, Gane Arkan, Eliza Atkinson, Susie Bailey, Andrada Iwana Balmes, Elizabeth Barbara Rovar, James Bain, Clarice Murray Esther Burrier. Mohammed Farhan bin Abdul Latif. Awarded the ICBS Joint Honours Group Prize, Mahmoud Mubarak Ali. <laughs> Barna Shoma Bayro. William Bola. Awarded the Ian Clark Memorial Prize, Dora Bonini. Harris Ball, Laurie Christopher Bowden, Grace Bowen, Elif Boyeji, Jaime Brizela Gabaldon, Alicia Brozek, Sandra Brudera, Maria Grace Burton. Charlotte Butterworth, Yulia Buzatsuyu, Thomas Zaganek, Aoife Rowan Cantor Jones, Melissa Carroll, Eleanor Chalkley, Chai Kai Yung, Martin Chan. Dilandi Chandra Deva, Siwat Chang, Singji Shung, Hoi Ching Chung, Sheng Yu Chia. Awarded the Gabriel Ferrers Prize, Anna Choi. <laughs>
Sarah Choi, Sue Min Choi, Dana Wai Shin Chow, Chung Nyai Lam, Eva Clark, Teresa Colgan, Emily Conybear, Julia Costa Domingo, Hannah Kova, awarded the ICBS Joint Honours Group Prize, Henry Crane. <laughs> Tia Kaju Cole, Jack Davenport, Megan Davis, Yenis Dimitriades, Rebecca Dis. Awarded the Murray Prize in Physiology, Maria Dundee. <laughs> Rihanna Neve Dowling. Anisha Dougal, Harry Dunlop, Aaron Dunn, Helen Dwyer, Blanca Echeverrier Perez, Titi Rat Iam Sum Ang, Joel Elkin, Edward Ellsmore, Lauren Emony, Philippa England, Isabel Isain Garcia, awarded the Laurent Bonomo Prize, Alicia Fadini, Ariel Fadida, Juliet Forster, Rosie Foster. Rhys John Fox, awarded the Howarth Prize, Eleanor Friend. <laughs> Mona Fukawa, Finbar Gaffey, Henri Gallant Nunes de Souza, Daria Gerasimova. Emily Gibson, Javier Gonzalez de Miguel, Catalina Goyeneci, Peter Green, Matthew Greeny, Chen Zi Guo, Astrid Goot, Talal Haddad. Tom Halmos, Aurelia Hayes Watson, Atia Henry, Isabella Higson, Chun Yuan He, Martin Ho, Unji Hong, Ming Huang. Madeline Humphrey, Gabriel Ng, Hafiza Urshad, Oscar Jackson, Nyati Jane, Gabriela Yaroshevska, Tiana Johnson, awarded the June Man Memorial Prize, Emily Jones. Ian Jones, Louise Elizabeth Jones, Megan Joseph, Yong Sun Ju, awarded the Governor's Prize, Shi Yao Ki, <laughs> Leah Dudu Kang, Munisaf Kandoka. Awarded the Belloff Chain Prize, Victoria Koo. <laughs> Eva Kalinska. 
Sang Woo Kim, Sun Hong Kim, Alice Kluzer, Yu Hang Kwok, Mei Fu Chaw, N Lai, Sophie Lai, Anastasia Labusi, Victoria Latham. Awarded the ICBS Joint Honours Group Prize, Annie Law. <laughs> Law Carkit Justin. Elsa Lawrence. Clara Leander O. Oh. <laughs> si Yon Lee. Rain Liedma. Arno Legrand. Awarded the ICBS Joint Honours Group Prize, Brian Lim. <laughs> Lim Yu Jie. Francesca Lim Li Wen. Alicia Kernia Lione. Lu Huan. Gertrude Lu Yui Chit. Min Hui Lu, Kim Nian Liu Huang, Lillian Magnus, Nan Ki Maitra, Kate Malone, Boris Mang, Emily Lauren Mason, Alex McKeeman. Sylvia Michalski. Awarded the CU at Stickings Memorial Prize, Martina Milligetti. <laughs> Daisy Miller. G1 Min. Amata Mirandari. Mohammed Nasrullah bin Mohammed Zamri. Daniel Moore. Daniel Mota, Alexandros Muskidis, Hoi Ching Ng, Fuong Mai Nguyen, Christos Nicola, Dominika Nidzvitska, Eloise O'Connor, Awarded the James Prize of the New Phytologist Trust, Joseph Hoddy. <laughs> Jessica Olive. Martina Oliver Widobro. Jessica Orr. Olivia Papiuano. Platina Perec. Anisha Palmer. Danyan Patel, Tara Patel, Harry Peck, John Sel Grace Perez, Pure Shi Juan Nicholas, Margarita Pisaridu, Edward Anthony Francis Polglaze. Augustinus Pusopus, <laughs> Eleanor Quinlevan, Sophie Quinn, Anitha Raja, Helen Eve Ramsbottom, John Baptiste Richard, Nathan Robbins, Jacob Robson Tull, Oscar Rooney, William Roseby, Saad Sajid, Yuria Sawada. Awarded the Asmani Prize in Biotechnology, Alberto Scarampi del Cairo di Pronetto. 
Marine Seki. Darren Seat. Krishna Sharma. Shi Guan Ming. Awarded the See You at Stickings Memorial Prize, Shi Sia. Carla Smith. Awarded the Forbes Memorial Medal, Francesca Smith. <laughs> Noel Smiths Van Basbert Berger. Hugo Soubrier. Olivia May Stainer. Stefan Stanley. Ale Alexander Sebastian Steemers. Isabella Stevens, Matty Stone, Emily Strachan, Linus Paul Strobel, Beng Tan, Jolin Tan, Yong Hao Jonathan Tan, Nicole Christie Tan. Daniel James Taylor, Brian Teo, Emily Thomas, Martin Todd, Hannah Tilsley, Hamida Uden, Esther Ujvari, Owen Vaughan, Kevin Takua Vella, Molly Virgo, Carla Vuina, George Vactor, Fergus Wade, Samuel Wallace, Joe Jin Wan, Ling Nai Wang. Xinju Wang, Yi Xing Wang, Susanna Ward, Xanthi Weatherhead, Dion Wira Surya, awarded the Governor's Prize, Hatcher Westerman. Devon Wetterings, Helena Whitfield, Dora Weasel, Hannah Wilson, Chun Him Clement Wong, Rachel Wong. Yi Wong. Lily, Lily Wright. Henry Xu. Zhong Tian Xu. Jesse Xu. Helen Yang. Michelle Yi. Desmond Yu Ji Han, Yu Tong Yin, Hannah Young, Imogen Young, Suki Yu, Izu, Boram Zhang, Yu Xin Zhang. Shi Zhang, Yi Zhao, Elliot Bow, Vivian Feng, Xiao Liu, Marcus Wong. 
That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. Bachelors of Science in the Department of Mathematics, Ashlyn Barry. Luke Barry. Aziz Bin Issa. Loris Biancari. Ernest Bitkivsky. Alexander Boretsky. Ho Kwan Chan. Him Chan. Manlin Chaula, Kichia Chen, Ming Yang Chen, Si Kong Chen, Ying Long Chen, Yu Ting Chu, Chiotina Alexandra Arena, William Dorling, Adam Dowix, Manuel Ehrlich, Sherry Fang, Yi Ming Te, Falk Hong K. Christopher, Alma Fredrickson, Tian Yu Fu, Ching Xin Geng, awarded the G Research Prize, Luca Girola, Joseph, Joseph Gittens, Tom Buell Nielsen, Jin Ya Gu. Hao Ya Gu. Thomas Harris. Yi Ling Clara Hang. Alfie Hughes. Award of the G Research Prize, Samo Ramadka. Meng Yan Young, James Hughes, K. G. Yang, Cheng, Yushi Zhang, Sang Wu Zhou, Ru Ya Kang, Zara Kasim, Sharayer Kazi. Young Mong Kim, Su Min Kim, Sang Yoon No, Martha Lambert, Anas Lazri Delkali, Jung Jae Lee, Nicole Lee, Alvin Long. Jin Yi Li Hyung, awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Lim Fang Roy. Ji <laughs> Tong Lin, Clara Elizabeth List, Mandy Liu, Hong Yu Liu, Drin Ru Lin Liu. Juni Liu, awarded the Hyman Levy Memorial Prize, Sheng Liu. <laughs> Timothy Lo Jian Cheng, Derek Liu, Shi Bo Liu, Zi Yi Liu, Yi Yong Liu, Avishkar Mahajan. Mao Yiyu. Stefan Markovich. Awarded the Tensor Society Mathematics Prize, Antoni Marquis. <laughs> Benjamin McMillan. Toby Menul. 
Tadia Mere. Rohan Mitta. Jin Yu Niu. Yostina Nivikoviti. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Edward Overkin. Sami Osborne. Daniela Pan. Yu Pan. Gun Patana Anek. Ba Visha Patel. Raphael Pellegrin. Ankush Rajput. Ranji Hyon. Roland Rusetalot. Rajun Singh Samra. Louise Salwe. Faraj Shah. Shin Shu. Yu Song. Kaz Kazmin Alexandru Stanchu. Ed Stanbaugh. Jin Zhang Sun. Yun Zi Sun. Ivan Tang. Yu Fei Tian. Prafula Timala. Nicholas Tulesius. Daniel Trent. Yu Chen Tu. Tamid Wadud. Wang Zhang Yu. Yi Chu Wang. Yu Chi Wang. Peter Archibald Wally. Natalie Wong. Wu Meng Yang. Pai Fang Wu. Ji Cheng Ji. Richard Jia. Zhu Wei Jing. Xu Ning Zhu. Wan Jai Zhu. Yi Dan Zhu. Qiu Zhan Yan, Ka Yan Yong, An Ping Zhang, Wen Jin Zhang, Zhang Su Ying, Yolanda Zhang, Ji Yao Cheng, Ro Hang Chao, Leslie Zhen, Zhao Tian Zheng, Yu He Zhao, Yu Ting Zhu, uh, Yu Sang Li. The Masters of Science in the Department of Mathematics, Alejandro Arparicho Rodriguez. Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Jalermo Barrias Ayuas. <laughs> James Nicholas Baslington. Ji Hu Chen. Li Chen. Cyrus Chuck Yun Chen. Adam Ian Collins. Todd Wallace Davies, awarded the Institute of Mathematics and its Applications Prize, Callum Dick Oakley. <laughs> Jalermo Garcia Bajarado. Matthew Tamaya Fredericks. Alexander Godfrey. Holly Green. Leo Hugh Haig, sorry. <laughs> Yan Yu Ji. 
awarded the Chris Champion Prize, Fergus Johnson. Zane Kapadia, Gabrielle Cassey, Imogen Kyle, Adam Lambert, Joel Andre Libdu Toy, Max Lewis Clark. Awarded the IBM Prize for Pure Mathematics, Willie Lim. Elin, Lu Zhu Liu, Kai Maitland Davies, Jennifer Mason, Michael McGill, Federica Melbourne, Alexander Ian Mitchum, Gabrielle Ng, Sylvia J. Newman, Benedict Petko, Katrina Peveva Pedrova, Victoria Petevo Petrova, Rory Marshall Pitt, Catherine Potton, Jordan Lewis Potter, Stephanie Rathman, Philippa Rubin, Alu Watu Yasi Sadari, Nicholas Schumacher, awarded the G Research Prize, J. Sri Sivanathan, Ned Summers. Mateo Tabero, Shinya Tekamasu, Hannah Tillman Morris, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Ashley Edward Bo Huawei, Isabel Ellen Wood, Buster Wolfenden. Sheng Ji Zhang, Chen Wei Zhu, Jun Yun Yi, Jonathan Young, Meng Chen Zhang, Madison Borghini. Harrison's not here. Okay. That concludes the graduates from the Department of Mathematics. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates. So, one more from mathematics Harrison Zhu. Bachelors of Science, Department of Physics, David Abraham. Ramsagar Achanta. Pravani Agarwal. Lachlan Ellison. As Puranit Asava Tavavif. Clara Bacours. Alexander Belsik. Daja Berger. Hugh Alexander Blaney, Midori Kelman, Marina Kano Amoros, Patrick Carter Cortez, Elton Kaz, Kelvin Chen, Hao Chuan Chen, Sin Luan Chong. Hari Trauduri, 
Maria Crescentro. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Nicholas David York Rubin Cording. Theo Dale. Awarded the David Smith Prize in Medical MRI and Ultrasound, Sinead Donaghy. Jean Fair. Arjun Ganguly. Juan Yeung Jill. Julio Guzman Campoy. Marcus David Helson. Matthew Haynes. Shi K. Cynthia Ho. Zhao Jia Hu Wang. To Arzi Yat Hun. Mabat Hussein. Marco Eugenio Inserti. Sophia Maria Nakechi Inman. Uh -huh. yeah. no. Jamie David Coombs. Sion Jang. Lena Jukal. Shabas Khan. Tay Young Kim. Hakiret Clare. Katazena Kawaljik. Awarded the Tittle Prize for Hein Sima Kuru. <laughs> Yet Fung Jonathan Lair. Jacob Roland Lair. Michelle Lau. Kai Hung Law. Kin Ian Lo. Mikolai Jan Matelski. Alexandra Mihail Escu. Deborah Miori. Krishan Mystery. Thomas Molnar. No. Kin Liu. James Langdon. Xian Wong Na. Six one nine, yeah. Zi Song Nai. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, we clearly got confused. Okay. Umit Kim Otsa, I'm sorry. George Robert Pittman. Mark Pollock. Benjamin Kuriashi. Blahoslav Brighty. Roberta Rivus. Yes. Navdeep Sohoti, Amit Shah, Seema Shah, Tarun Jonathan Barvin Shah, Wing Yi Sheik, awarded the Calendar Prize, Ka Rin Sim. Luke David Smith. <laughs> Han Su. Mm -hmm. Hannah Takahashi. Mm -hmm. Vlad Tanasha. Mm -hmm. Evgeny Anatoltivich Ulanov. Mm -hmm. Yunki Wang. Mm -hmm. Charlin Wen. Mm -hmm. Sunwa Wang. 
Carmel Villek, Joseph Wilshire, Tuk Tong Wong, Sean Chua, Ben Chen Young, Li Hen Yao, Wei Min Yap, Wei Hai Yu, Benji Chang, Masters of Science, Department of Physics, Kwasim Afghan, Abigail Alexander, Lewis William Anderson, Christopher Auckland, Christopher David Barton, Ronan Battle, Eden Patrick Barrett, Emily Birch, William Reed Blacklock, Leonard George Budd, William Andrew Carter, Farhan Zaman Charter, Aikit Chen, Harry Chittenden, Julia Chaimilowska, Lon Wing Choi, Claudia Koba Torres, Andrew Council, Kid Cowley, Natalie Cravosier, Alexandra Crew, Sean Davies, Tobias Harry Andrew Dawson, Trenton Caleb Delahaye, Ayush Dayrap, Milan Ding. Marta Donaldson, Omar Al Amiri, Irene Escobar, Griffin Farrow, Bernadette Fernandez, Max Festenstein, Patrick Fuller. Ying Wang Zhao, Robert Gardner, Armin Singh Gataru, Charlotte Louise Gisborne, Liam Gladden, Sophie Gorno, awarded the CMS Prize for Particle Physics, Dewey Gould. George Ewan Greaves. Barnaby Handel. Samuel Hunrahan. Josh Alexander Harris. James Alexander Harrison. Maximilian Henderson, Johannes Hale, awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, David James Hickey. <laughs> Benjamin Arun Raphael Hilton, Edward Hurst, Jonathan Philip Itkovich, Thomas German, Ishita Joshi, Edward George Keyes, Oliver Kianowski, 
by Ted Killing. Ellis Francis King. Stefan Koenigstorfer. Awarded the Abdus Salam Undergraduate Prize, the Ludlam Prize, and the Governor's Prize, Ronan Laker. Adrian Lamouri. Alexander Chowdhury. Bobby Lang. Florian Maximilian Langer. Caroline Larkin. Robert Luke Lawrence. Sylvia Macari. Samuel McPherson. Timothy Marley. Gwyneth Matthews. Sophie Muren. Rani Mita, Ethan Mills, Avinash Mochiria, ZJ Ng, Eric Jonathan Nielsen Helen, Sam Thomas Jack O'Neill, Duan Yi Aung. Katia Pagana, Pavel Plesniak, Catherine Plummer, Chen Feng Poon, Theo Rashid, Nicholas Reed, Daniel Robbins, Samuel Rott, Sherbin Sabiga, sorry. <laughs> Barnaby Sanderford, Trisha Sakina, Jennifer Scott. Henry Sewell, Rachel Sphere, Abhijay Sood, Jirga Strucker, Jia Wen Sun, Hugh Serdo, J. Lim Taylor, Kenza Tazi. Awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, Louis Terrell. <laughs> Rydian Thomas. Henry James Throp. <laughs> Dominika Vasilkova. Aitza Velasik, Maximilian von Wittischheim Krumster, <laughs> Axel Voss Schreider, Jack Way, <laughs> Kai Feng Wei. Henry Montgomery Wilde, Julia Anna Wisniewska, Thomas Woolley, Andrew Wu, Kate Sun Jung, Nguyen Wu. Michael Fang Zhang, Zai Wai Zhang, Thomas Richard Zhu, 
Joshka Zhishi. Ab Abhirami Navitanathan. <laughs> Oliver Butt. Adrian Moraru, who was awarded a Bachelor of Science from the Department of Physics, sadly passed away during the year. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Physics and the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class.
my honour to now announce the winner of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award, Ms. Kenza Tazi. Ms. Tazi demonstrates a dedication to supporting her peers as well as a passion for inspiring future scientists with projects that offer outstanding public engagement opportunities. She has proudly represented the college at numerous events. In 2016, Ms. Tazi co-organized co a space science outreach project that was based on growing rocket salad seeds which were taken to the International Space Station by astronaut Tim Peake. This innovative approach was presented at numerous public events, including Imperial Festival and the prestigious Royal Society Summer Exhibition. She co-published a report on this project in the Astronomy and Geophysics Journal. Ms. Tazi went on to demonstrate a passion for environmental challenges at the European Space Agency's Big Think event in 2019. Her team creatively proposed projects for improving early disaster warnings for floods and wildfires. Impressively, she's a consultant to the Science Museum's London Science City exhibition. Alongside these achievements and her own physics studies, Ms. Tazi worked as a student representative for her year. Her tireless commitment to the welfare of her fellow students was recognized with the Students' Union Half Color Award. I therefore invite you, President, to award Ms. Kenza Tazi an Outstanding Student Achievement Award in recognition of her contribution to Imperial College London. to announce the winner of the President's Medal for Excellence in Societal Engagement, Dr. Annalisa Alexander. If you would please stand here. Thank you. Dr. Annalisa Alexander joined the college in 1999 to undertake a PhD in plant ecology. During her studies, she volunteered with the school's liaison team and discovered a passion for student outreach and widening participation. Dr. Alexander joined the team full-time in 2004 and has developed a vast collection of inspiring programs for young would-be scientists. She became head of outreach in 2013. Over the past 17 years, Dr. Alexander's tireless work has benefited tens of thousands of school-age students, either by providing positive STEM role models through e-mentoring, supporting increased academic achievement through tutoring, or helping to unearth a passion for engineering through taster courses. Dr. Alexander has also supported hundreds of imperial undergraduates and postgraduates, as well as staff members, to get involved with outreach activities. A significant achievement is the creation of the INSPIRE PGCE program, which has trained over 100 postgraduates to become teachers. Dr. Alexander is incredibly active in promoting STEM and the college's engagement with widening participation. She has developed vital collaborations with schools, other universities, and charities. Her tenacity and dedication to Imperial's outreach strategy has seen her division thrive, while the quality of its activities and programs have become more sophisticated and innovative over the years. This is all a direct reflection of Annalisa's excellent leadership qualities, consistently upbeat nature, professionalism, and determination to inspire others. I therefore invite you, President, to award Dr. Annalisa Alexander a President's Medal in recognition of her outstanding contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. And I'd now like to call Professor Martin Liebeck to please stand here. Um, the President's Medal for Excellence in Culture and Community winner. 
Professor Liebeck is an internationally renowned mathematician. One of his department's most popular lecturers, a brilliant mentor and a committed PhD supervisor. He has been at the forefront of the pure mathematics section of Imperial, Imperial's Department of Mathematics for 20 years. In this time, he's taken it from strength to strength, growing a tiny group a very, to a very accomplished team that includes Fields Medals winners and award-winning researchers from around the world. His commitment has seen the department consistently move up international rankings and has brought enormous prestige to the college. Highly regarded by his colleagues, Professor Liebeck is renowned for being a sympathetic line manager and a great listener who strives to improve the lives of staff and students alike. The members of the department are passionately devoted to him. They praise his excellent decision-making skills and selfless approach towards reducing the burden on others through taking on additional work, ensuring all his colleagues receive the support they need. His nomination for this award highlighted that his colleagues are inspired to work hard and focus on their community as a result of his much admired leadership. I therefore invite you, President, to award Professor Martin Liebeck a President's Medal in recognition of his outstanding contribution to leadership at Imperial College London. Now turn to the presentation of the Imperial College Medals. When she joined the college in 1989, Ms. Louise Lindsay was quickly identified as having great potential. Her subsequent rise to Director of Human Resources and Organizational Change has fully realized this promise as she progressed through increasingly important roles to head the college's entire HR program. During her time at the college, Ms. Lindsay has spearheaded positive cultural improvements for staff through a wide variety of award-winning activities and initiatives. She has led negotiations with local and national trade unions, where a calm, unflappable demeanor and a scrupulously fair approach have been her hallmarks. Indeed, these characteristics are the foundation of the excellent relationships she has developed across the college at all levels and are what enables her to resolve complex issues that would stymie most of us. She has an exceptional reputation for attention to detail and a commitment to supporting all members of the college community. This includes even volunteering to help at major student events such as open days and assisting new students on moving in day. Her polished proficiency and her interpersonal skills have been appreciated across the college, from members of the college council, heads of faculty and department, individual members of staff, and professional managers. Her advice, guidance, practical wisdom, and support has never failed to attract praise and gratitude from all of those with whom she deals. Her wise counsel is regularly sought by all of us. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Ms. Louise Lindsay an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. Mr. Roger Pownell has been twice recognized for his long service and contributions to the college, and we're delighted to honor him today. Across nearly five decades, Mr. Pownell has held a number of increasingly important posts in the department for catering and hospitality as part of the college's campus services. As the manager of Southside Bar, 
he transformed this popular social spot into the go-to venue on campus. His careful customer service and hard work resulted in many accolades, including recognition by the Campaign for Real Ale and the Cask Mark. Although Southside closed in 2005, the bar remains a fond memory for many long-serving staff and alumni. In his role as support services manager, Mr. Pownall oversees a substantial food and beverage purchasing spend, looking after every penny as if it were his own and taking pride in achieving the best possible prices. He tackles every task with quiet enthusiasm, considerable charm, and an exceptionally sharp brain. He is renowned on campus for balancing a friendly, welcoming nature with an ability to command respect and authority. For 18 years, Roger was also president of the Imperial College Rugby Football Club, the only non-academic to be so honored. He led the club on a number of international tours, including to Canada, South Africa, and Australia, where current students could meet Imperial alumni from around the world. His proactive approach led him to being awarded the club's social colors for unprecedented commitment to the club. His standing with students is such that he was also awarded the Imperial College Union Social Colors. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Mr. Roger Pownall an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the exceptional contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. presentation of the honorary graduates. Dr. Menelas Pangalos is an internationally renowned expert in neuroscience and drug discovery, having started his illustrious academic and professional career here at Imperial College. He is now Executive Vice President of Biopharmaceuticals Research and Development at AstraZeneca. His colleagues at AstraZeneca credit Dr. Pangalos with being instrumental in rebuilding their commitment to scientific excellence and a culture of great science and truth-seeking behaviors. During his time in this role, he has deepened their collaborations with academic biotech and peer organizations. He has also overseen the creation of AstraZeneca's new multi-million pound research center in Cambridge and plays an important role on a variety of government boards influencing the future of UK life science. Alongside his many impressive professional accomplishments, Dr. Pangalos has published more than 140 peer-reviewed articles and advises on numerous boards, including the Medical Research Council. He has been elected as a Fellow of the Academy of Medical Sciences and of the Royal Society of Biology, and most recently awarded the Galen Scientific Award by Pre-Galen Greece. Therefore, I invite you, President, under powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Menelas Pangalos an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his contribution to UK science and the pharmaceutical industry. Professor Dame Linda Partridge has become one of the most eminent biologists over the last 40 years and has profoundly shaped our understanding of the evolution and mechanisms of aging. Using ingenious experiments in many different organisms, ranging from fruit flies to humans, she has shown how damage in cells is accumulated with age and how aging-related decline can be slowed down by genes, environment and drugs. She found that mechanisms of aging are strongly conserved over large evolutionary distances between species. 
She was among the first scientists to combine mathematical and quantitative models of biological processes and systems with experimental and observational studies. Through her work, training and mentoring, as well as her services on committees for public bodies, her work will have profound scientific, medical and societal implications as humans live longer. Dame Linda holds the prestigious Weldon Chair at University College London and is the founding director of the Max Planck Institute for Biology of Aging in Cologne. She has been awarded numerous national and international honours, including seven honorary degrees. She was named as a living legend by Help the Aged, now known as Age UK, and as a woman of outstanding achievement by the UK Resource Centre for Women in Science, Engineering and Technology. She is a Fellow of the Royal Society, the Royal Society of Edinburgh, the Academy of Medical Sciences, the European Academy of Sciences, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Dame Linda Partridge an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of our outstanding contribution to the biological sciences. President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. When I was appointed chair of council, I became the first chair to have also been an alumnus of the college. So although it was over 40 years ago, I know what it feels like to occupy the other place on this stage. I've stood here as a graduating student, just as you graduates have today, with my family proudly sitting in the audience, just as many of yours are today. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but by whatever measure you go, Imperial College is a very special place. The Times Higher Education rankings put us at third highest in Europe and consistently in the top 10 in the world. Only around 6% of the world's population hold a degree at all, let alone one from a top university. So please always remember how special you are. Today is not the end of your journeys, but the beginning of new chapters. There'll be many opportunities to come, and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, but before doing so, I'd like to thank those responsible for today's ceremony. So, without trying to name them individually, please could you join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard to plan and organize today's event. Secondly, I'd like us to thank Oliver Gooch and the wonderful musicians who've performed throughout this ceremony. Thank you. And of course, it's, it's your day, it's your achievement, but sitting behind me is a colourful array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by a great many other professors and lecturers, technicians and support staff, all of whom have helped you along the way. So I'd ask you to thank not only your professors and teachers, but all the other staff at Imperial College who've helped you. And then, of course, there are you, our graduates. It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we, of course, all want to thank you graduates and, and celebrate your achievement. And although this is the end of the ceremony, this is not farewell. You are all now part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We will be here for you and will be pleased to help you as you go on to have your stellar careers. I dare say at some point in the future, we may well turn to ask you for help as well. We're proud of what you've achieved and what you go on to achieve, so please stay, do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, it seems to me that 
the applause so far has been very polite. Perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. And I know that the students here are well able to make more noise than that. So very finally, I'd like to invite you graduates to thank your most important supporters, your mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, children and friends, all of whom have been there when you've needed them. So please, graduates, stand and thank your family and friends.